Miami, Florida, I mean, we're big on football, you know. Um, my neighborhood, you know, there's a lot of kids, you know, versus going around, hanging around negativity and things like that. I just wanted to do something positive. The FYFL, you know, it being Florida, you know, the Florida Youth Football League, my team was just like, man, we need our own. Let's go! Let's go! So we just decided to come out here and, and, and put it together, you know. We seen Snoop one time when he was in Miami, Flo and Snoop, they had a talk. And four months later, they had birth, they came, it all came together, man. That's good, you know. Uh, at the level we are in music, you know, it, was, it wasn't really too hard for us to just get together and say, hey, man, let's do something positive for the kids. So, I mean, we just made it happen. I think over here in California, you see a lot of speed, a lot of finesse. I think we play a little more power football down in and down in uh, Florida. Ass is going to get hit real hard with speed and technique. It's what we do. What's your name? Steven Bradford. I play for Cerrito Steelers, running back, and left linebacker. Before I say anything else, I'm going to shout out to my mom and all my supporters. Are you excited about the game tomorrow? Yes. Were you guys going to win? Yes. <laughs> one thing about football is the truth. Florida has always been the number one. Texas is right behind them. California is right behind them. So in my mind, I've always said I never was cool with being number two or three. The only way to be the best is to beat the best. So if we can knock them off, tip the hat, send them back home, their head down, then we'll move on up the ladder. And even if we don't win, the kids will be able to compete with the best. You know how far they got to go to be the best. It all relies on coaching. You know, making sure the coaches letting the kids know the proper techniques on tackling. You know, making the kids, making sure the kids got the, the right physical training, and speed training, and conditioning. We've had less injuries over the last two years because of the way we teach them. Fundamentally flagging them if they go helmet to helmet. So they understand that. So I feel like if we go down to the levels, have the NFL come to the hood and teach us what they want us to do, then that way when the kids get to the NFL, they've been practicing this their whole life. So when they get there, they know the proper way. A lot of these kids haven't been coached. They just won't. Amen. 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 Amen.